just when we thought that things were slowing down in Diddy's camp, it appears as if he may have to add more gear, cause he's got another bombshell on his hands. Brashear Gray? Baby, we were aware of Brashear and Will Smith, and previously, there were assumptions that what happened with Will Smith happened with Diddy too. But now there could be footage out there confirming how Diddy did Brashear? OMG! Okay, there have been a few blind items stating that Will Smith and Diddy forced Brashear into freak-off sessions, similar to the ones with Cassie against his will. Now, early on in Brashear's career and in previous interviews, you can hear him referring to people like Diddy and Will Smith as his mentors. And I know that I have seen videos of Will Smith saying that Brashear was his mentee. You know, he's surrounded by a whole lot of strength. He's surrounded by a whole lot of love and all he has to do is add discipline and he gonna be all right. However, it is now believed that both men were doing you know what with Brashear under the guise of mentorship. And after cutting off his relationship with both men, Brashear felt as if he was blackballed from the music industry and Hollywood. With Will Smith, there have already been claims here and there that he was doing so much more than mentoring Brashear. Meek Mills, <laughs> Bashir Gray, <laughs> left that house screaming. August the only one that stayed and I guess he was really sick, he needed a dog. I mean, Jaguar Wright even said that she personally talked to a bunch of young rappers and they told her that whatever was going on in those parties that were being hosted by the likes of Will Smith and Diddy were disgusting. I'm saying that because of the artists that I just spoke to not that long ago that got invited to a party at their house. Everything was cool up front till they went to the back and there was a bunch of old young boys back there all naked in the Wade house. Allegedly, the same things Brashear was going through with Will Smith, he was also going through them with Diddy. In fact, recently, there have been reports of a lawsuit going around claiming that Will Smith and Diddy conspired to sabotage Brashear's career and reputation, and that they owe him $50 million in damages. The lawsuit, which was filed in Los Angeles Superior Court, alleged that Will Smith and Diddy were jealous of Brashear's success and talent, and that they used their influence and connections to spread false rumors about him, blacklist him for projects, and interfere with his contracts after using him. The lawsuit also accused the two of them of orchestrating Brashear's arrest in 2020 when he was charged with DV after allegedly choking his wife and refusing to cooperate with the police. Y'all remember how that case was messy, right? Well, if you don't recall, let me just fill you in a little bit. So when the incident happened, Brashear initially refused to come out of the house and a SWAT team and crisis negotiations team had to be called in to assist. And they eventually took him in for questioning. Now, it's not common for interrogation tapes to leak, but Brashear's interrogation somehow leaked, and that only adds to the speculation that it may have actually been a setup. What's even worse was Brashear's condition, because throughout the two-hour interview, Brashear's account of what happened constantly changed, and he said he went to his friend John's house to play football, and eventually, he was texted or called by a neighbor telling him of a major police presence at his home. And she was saying the cops are outside. Okay. Called her, she like, a lot of cops outside. Police then asked if Brashear knew John's number or if he could tell him the address where John lived. But he said he did not know the information because he had met John just days before. Then he started making some allegations about his wife, saying she had mental issues and that they were in an open relationship. She has like mental issues, like with girls texting me. We have an open relationship. Mm. A chick texts me on the phone. She might say, yes, I want to give you that B. I want to give you that. She, I might delete it and she still see it somehow. He was also telling the cops that his wife tried to unalive herself a couple of times and he was only trying to stop that from happening. And he also said that the other person named Mark was the one hurting his wife. However, according to his wife, everything Brashear was saying was not making sense because he had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder and ADHD, but he refused to take his medication. And she also said that Mark is a fake name Brashear uses when he does not want to be recognized when he orders food from hotels. Again, like I said, it was very sus that this interrogation that completely humiliated Brashear was leaked. So it's possible that whoever leaked it knew exactly what they were doing, which would back up the allegation by Brashear that the entire arrest was orchestrated possibly by Will Smith and Diddy. Anyway, based on the lawsuit that was allegedly filed, Brashear's lawyer, Michael Avenetti, said in a statement that his client was a target of a malicious and coordinated campaign by Will Smith and Diddy, who he called two of the most powerful and vindictive men in Hollywood. The lawyer also said that Brashear had evidence to prove his allegations and that he was seeking justice and compensation for the harm done to his career and reputation. While well, sources close to Diddy and Will Smith dismissed Brashear's claims as baseless and delusional and said that they had no personal or professional relationship with him. They also pointed out that Brashear has a history of legal troubles and erratic behavior and that 
that he was trying to deflect attention from his own problems by suing them. However, nothing has been officially released to the media, and these claims have not been verified by court documents like Cassie's lawsuit, but it may be coming soon enough. Child, all these could possibly explain what happened with Brashear, cause for someone who has such a bright future, his downfall was just sad. I mean, other than the 2020 arrest, which was allegedly set up in November 2022, Brashear was arrested again for going against his probation. Cops were called by a woman claiming that she was dating him and she told the officer that his behavior was escalating and she was concerned for her safety. The woman also claimed that Brashear threw a box of food at her, pulled her hair, and she also told cops about other instances where he'd shout at her. And it wasn't just that, by the way, because the cops said that he had multiple run-ins with the law enforcement, including a domestic-related disturbance call just the previous month. Brashear apparently failed to inform his probation officer about those incidents, which is why he was hit with a probation violation and a judge signed a warrant and he was arrested. In addition, there was another lawsuit from Brashear's landlords who said that they rented him a condo inside their four unit Chicago complex and they claimed that among other things, Brashear left his dog inside the condo for extended periods of time. They claimed the dog was left unattended in common areas in the complex and urinated and defecated all over the place, which significantly damaged the hardwood floors, stairs, and other parts of the property. In addition, they said Brashear jumped in and out of windows, clogged the toilets by flushing down condoms, smoked pot in the place when smoking was not allowed under the lease, and engage in unsanitary activity. There have also been other numerous cases when it comes to Brashear and now people are saying that they understand why he spiraled. The trauma of being forced to participate in the freak offs may have scarred him too deep. And let me not even begin with how he may have been involved with Lee Daniels, who also posed as a mentor. Why are we talking about me? I gotta talk about okay, yes, yes too. Yeah, we have, we have, yeah. over the yes, <laughs> yes, yes. You don't get to talk yes, too much, yes. And guess what? Brashear isn't the only one planning to drop more receipts on Diddy. Do y'all remember when YK Osiris was rumored to have been romantically connected to Diddy in past social media posts after the two were spotted on vacation together in Jamaica in 2021? While on The Breakfast Club, YK attempted to shut down the rumors by denying the Diddy boy toy allegations, but allegedly he's now planning to spill. The rumor mill is saying that just like followers had suspected, something actually did go down with Diddy, but the exchange was not mutual, and that YK was SA during their encounters. The thing is, YK Osiris was experiencing financial hardship following the release of his first album and after being cut from his record deal with Def Jam Records. He saw Diddy as someone who could help his career better. However, he allegedly found himself in an unwanted situation with Diddy shortly after meeting him, just like what happened with Brashear. So something else is that there could be footage of all these things involving people like Brashear. Lil Ra already said in his lawsuit that Diddy had everything recorded, so the footage is there somewhere, and with the way things are going, I'm personally expecting the videos to start leaking any time from now. Like I said, Diddy better be gearing up even more because things are about to go from bad to worse. But meanwhile, let me know what you think of this entire Brashear situation in the comment section down below.